happy Monday guys so we are in Fort Worth today taking care of some personal business Jason's inside taking care of some of that now I'm just out here waiting it's a beautiful day today kind of warm but we are getting into summer quickly it's not too terrible bad but yeah I I'll, I'll take this it's not raining and cold that's a good thing think we're well, as soon as he's done with this I think we have one more stop and then I think we're gonna grab some lunch at I think Jason said it's called a place called taco diner I don't know I've never had it he's had it once before and said it was really really good so I think we're gonna go have a late lunch there if the train will stop a honking so I can do my video. <laughs> my mom is babysitting the babies today while we're taking care of the stuff we need to take care of because we didn't want to have to bring them along and leave them in a hot vehicle. Not that we would do that. I would stay out with them if we had to do that. But I, we figured if there was something both of us needed to go in for, we didn't want to leave them out in the truck because it is a little warm even with the windows down. We are still planning to put ourselves back in service tomorrow unless something changes or something comes up that we need to do. I think we're, we might stop and get pedicures on the way back to Waco. I am in need of one terribly and Jason does get one every so often. He likes to get it just for them to get all the dead skin off his feet and stuff. So well, there ain't nothing wrong with no man getting a pedicure. I think it's awesome. Take care of your feet. <laughs> yeah, Jason's birthday is tomorrow. By the time y'all see this, it'll be past a week later. Appreciate all the birthday wishes going out to him on the video that came out today, Monday. And I know he appreciates that. So yeah, guys, that's where we're at. We'll keep you posted. So change of plans. We're staying home till Friday. <laughs> We talked about it last night, and we 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 had one more thing we need to get done. We're going to be cleaning out our RV. So, so let, let me tell you something. First of all, happy birthday to Jason, because today is his birthday, even though you'll see this a week after his birthday. But, um, yeah, I didn't even want to come home. But now that we're here, we're trying to take advantage and get done what we need to get Kiss done. Get stuff done. Yep. When we got, before we got into expediting, a lot of y'all know that have been following us, we downsized out of our house. We pretty much sold everything in our house and got an RV to live in. And now we're actually downsizing our stuff again. Again. Because we've well, realized- we have accumulated a lot of stuff. We have. Since we've been in the RV. We have. And so we're kind of downsizing that stuff too. Yeah. Since but but we're downsizing to go down into an airstream. Yeah, yeah. So, so that's our plan. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna go clean out our. We're gonna pull our RV out. We got a real good spot out at Lake Waco. Yeah, that's gonna be awesome too. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna hang out there the weekend uh, and go so even, through everything in the RV. Yeah, even though we'll be busy working, at least we'll have a good view. Is today Tuesday? Today's Tuesday. So we'll be going back out Friday. We'll probably end up uh, moving down to Laredo just to get us at least one run for the week. Yeah. Because they've been real busy, so. Yeah. Unless something else changes, <laughs> that's our plan for right now. That's so. the plan. So, yeah. So, Jason's going to drive the work truck. I'm going to drive our personal truck. we got to go to our storage. Pick and up the RV. Pick up the RV and get get, get to work. we got a new porta potty Oh, yeah. We did. The porta potty we had, so we've had, it's the same one we had. Same brand, same model, same everything. Yeah. But the other one, the flusher stopped working. Oops. And uh, what it, we would fill the flusher water up, and it would just flush on its own and fill up the bottom before we even needed to yeah. fill it. So. I mean, we have had it for like three years, so it's it's lasted a long time. It's and, time. You know, they wear out. They do. They wear out, and but, I, I think three years of. I but, mean, we use it all the time. So. One thing we did is it's two separate pieces. We're gonna keep the bottom part. From the old one. From the old one. So then we have two of these. So in case there ever becomes a problem 
where we're not able to find a place to dump the bottom, we can just swap it out and put it in the back until we can get to a place. So. Yeah, which yeah. would be awesome. Yeah, that'd be awesome. We've been using a five gallon bucket. It, it's not something we have to do often, maybe five times a year, but. Yeah, if that. But. If that. But there are times. Yeah. So. Well, let's, let's, let's head around. to the lake. Yay. <laughs> they said it's supposed to rain a little bit today. Oh, is it? But it's only 20% chance, so. Oh, okay. Fingers crossed we get to enjoy a little bit of time at the lake with no rain. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's go. One of our, we have two storages, guys. We have a storage where we store the RV in our personal truck, and then we have the storage that you saw us cleaning out in our last vlog. It's just a, you know, a storage for boxes and that kind of stuff. So we are now headed to the storage that we have our RV at, and before we pull the RV out, we have to, let me turn you around, see if you can see me here. We have to um, get some stuff out of the RV before we pull it out because we've got like our bunk mattress and a big ladder and just a bunch of random stuff. Just pretty much we just sat in the RV so if we try to pull the RV with all that stuff in it like it is it's just gonna be a mess so <clears throat> excuse me so we have to pull all of that out before we pull the RV out and then we're gonna take that to our storage where we store like our boxes and stuff and then go back and pull the RV out and take it to the lake we can't check into the lake sorry if y'all are like rattling um, we can't check into the lake spot until three local time. So we have a little while. It's uh, 1130 right now local. So we have a few hours before we can check in. And we could probably check in early if we wanted to. If the spot's open, I'm sure we can. But that's what we're doing, guys. I'm hoping it's not going to rain. It's pretty cloudy out. I think there's a chance of rain. But hopefully we won't get rained on and if it stays partly cloudy that would be awesome because then it just keeps the temperature down right now it says it's 74 out or at least that's what the truck is saying oh, so yeah we got a lot of work ahead of us but it's got to be done guys if anybody has ever downsized it's a lot of work it really is it was a lot of work when we downsized out of the house and now we're downsizing even more but honestly after after being out in the truck for four years like you really or at least us we've really come to realize that we don't need all of the stuff that we have all the stuff we have all the stuff we just got rid of out of storage has been in storage for four years we haven't missed it haven't needed to get anything out of there same thing with this stuff really in the RV. When we come home, there's a lot of stuff we don't even use that we have in the RV. So, I don't know. I guess I, I'm at a point in my life and Jason too is we would rather, instead of having the stuff, we would rather have the experiences. So, instead of spending money on that kind of stuff, we would rather spend our money on traveling and seeing things and experiences because... You know, not to be like um, sad or morbid, not morbid, but I don't know, w you know, when not, we don't have children, we don't have kids, we don't really have, I don't have any brothers and sisters, Jason doesn't have any brothers and sisters, so when something happens to us, who's going to get our stuff anyway? There's really nobody that's going to get our physical things, so yeah, I don't know. Again, I'm probably getting a little too deep, but <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure some of y'all understand. Some of y'all probably don't. Some of you do, but yeah, that's just a little bit of how our thinking is right now. And yeah, <clears throat> we, we love our big fifth wheel. Don't get me wrong. It's beautiful. We love it. And if we were going to buy a piece of land and keep it on that, I think we would absolutely keep our fifth wheel but that's just not something we want to do we don't want to be tied down to one place so 
getting downsizing into an Airstream is going to allow us to be more flexible. It's going to be a lot easier when we do come home for home time to just pull that out, pull it out and go if we want to. So that's our reasoning. I know a lot of y'all are probably like don't agree with it or don't understand, but I figured I'd share and let you know what our thinking is and you know, we share a lot of stuff with y'all, so might as well let you know what we're doing. So <laughs> And I may cut this out totally. I may not even put it in the video. Who knows? I'm just rambling right now. Just following Jason. He's ahead of me. You can see him. So let me show you the RV situation right now. Uh, look at this. So we gotta get move some stuff so we can move the RV because we can't move the RV with all that up there because it will fall and cause a mess. We've been pack ratting. Yeah. This was all stuff that was in the truck. <laughs> yeah, look at all this stuff. <laughs> dash cams, boxes, you know. Uh, oh my gosh. Boxes for the dash cam and cell phone boxes and uh, uh, it'll be so nice to get rid of all this stuff so let's get to it where are we going now we are heading to the storage Ugh. Ugh. there is so much to do like, I, like we just I... cleaned it out now we're putting more stuff back in it <laughs> not as much though okay no, yeah, this yeah. is our plan i'm gonna tell you our plan so right now i don't know if you can even see back there but we're taking this is the mattress that came out of the truck for the bunk and then we've got our big ladder so we're taking those to our storage unit and we're putting those in. We're gonna go and grab some boxes from somewhere, Walmart, Lowe's, I don't know yet. We're still hashing that out. Then we're gonna go back, get the RV, hook the RV up, take it to the lake to the spot we have reserved and we're gonna just start going through stuff. We're going to, I mean, basically just everything we're getting rid of that we're donating we're gonna put in one pile, another pile with stuff for storage. Our ultimate goal is to not even have a storage unit for boxes and miscellaneous stuff because everything we want to have, we want to have either on this truck or in the RV. If, it's, if it's, it goes in storage, chances are we don't use it that much. We don't need it. Which means we don't need it, exactly. The main stuff we have in our storage right now, I many years back collected Swarovski crystal and I have a ton of that and that's what's in the storage right now which I'm going to be when we have time another time not this time home I'm gonna be going through that I'm gonna be trying to sell a bunch of that and just keep a few of the pieces that I really really like which anyway so that's what's really the main thing taking up the storage right now and then we've got a bunch of old pictures and tax paperwork that eventually I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna scan and just put on a, uh, a flash drive and get rid of the physical papers and pictures but yeah that's our process that we're trying to do now and I don't know if I already told you this but a lot of our stuff we're donating to a place that they help rescue animals and animals that need things like heartworm treatment, which is really expensive. They for help with that. For people who can't afford uh, vet bills for their pets, you yeah. know. Uh, the lady was telling us a story just uh, yesterday or the day before that there was a family who had a pet, a cat, that needed some sort of surgery, but um, they couldn't afford it. And they couldn't find a home for this cat. It was a Persian cat or something. Right. And uh, so what they did was they raised money from the stuff that people donate to them to help people pay for these vet bills. Mm -hmm. So. And I I'm sorry I cool. keep moving the camera. Yeah, I'm getting you. It's heavy. It's this heavy. thing is heavy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Uh, okay, yeah. So, but yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you, but yeah. yeah. But that's that's what we're donating. That's what we're donating to, and which we, uh, 
we big, don't like Goodwill, Salvation Army, just big because corporations like that. It's they a have, big, yeah. They have CEOs make, um, making probably a million dollars a year. Yeah. I don't understand why a place needs a guy needs to make a million dollars a year to uh, while the workers only make like less than minimum wage. I think Goodwill pays less than minimum wage to the people who work and go collect stuff and work at the stores and that just don't seem right. So. Yeah. And I'm not going to donate to pay their salaries. I would rather donate it to a good cause like the animal rescue where I know the money they get is used for a good cause. So that's our reasoning on that just in case you wanted to know. <laughs> <laughs> but oh my gosh. All right. Yeah. So we're heading that way. Sure, that ain't too much truck for you to handle. <laughs> this is a rare occasion, and I'm glad we're getting this on video because I never get to drive, and Jason's in the passenger seat in our personal truck. Driving the super Look at duty. this! What is this? What is this? Huh? I got a little friend here, little a little helper. You driving helping? the super duty. <laughs> so making progress slowly but surely. Been to the storage, had lunch, went to the bank. Got some boxes, got some boxes so we can box some stuff up at the RV. Now, where are we heading? Back yeah, to the store. Pick up the RV. Get our some stuff out of the truck and get the RV and head out to the lake. That's it. And start working.